Organic Farming Research Foundation presents a case study on soil health and water management. This research project is measuring the potential of soil management practices to improve water capture and retention. The farmer and researcher have just finished their first season of data collection. This is their story. So actually the idea came about when Scott and I met at a grower meeting and, and we started to talk about management practices he's implementing on his farm and, and, and um, some of, of his observation that he was able to cut water off earlier in the season and delay onset of irrigation later in the season because he, he thought it was because of his soil health building management practices, which help retain more water in the system. Um, and yet there was a need for monitoring and evaluation just to carry this, this word forward and be able to reach more farmer with data as well. So we embarked on this project and, and OFRF was a great source of funding. We came up with some just fascinating information on, on this first year, um, stuff that, that that I was uh, actually astounded myself, and I've been growing tomatoes, you know, for this on to 44 years now. Like, like we cut water 45 days before harvest, and got a 65-ton crop of tomatoes, which is huge. You know, I wouldn't have done it. We wouldn't have had it monitored if we, if we weren't involved in this grant. And then we cut the water 30 days, and, and found out that the yield was no different. So that's a big deal. That, that was two more irrigations that basically we didn't need. So yeah, I mean, the learning potential and me being able to become a better, more efficient farmer from the data that we're getting from doing this grant is invaluable. Not just building up the soil, you gotta be thoughtful on every input that you're doing to that land to be sure that, that you're not limiting the ability of the soil food web to be productive. And if you get soil healthy enough, the soil and the plant relationship will solve a lot of your problems. And, and if you have unhealthy soil, it's okay. You can just keep adding external inputs of chemicals, but it's not, it, is that really the way you want to do it? What we are trying to do is to put back soil at the center of water management and being able to provide organic growers with smart irrigation practices that can improve water use efficiency, cut on water input, but also provide means to weed control, uh, to disease control, while maintaining the productivity and building the quality of the final harvested product. Building up the soil is serving as a sponge to hold every drop. We do not have water leave our fields. It rains in the winter, the water retention is pretty much 100% unless it's some torrential downpour. Uh, but other than that, it, it, uh, all, all, everything we get rain-wise stays on our property. I think the organic market is going to grow just from what I'm seeing on my own business that, that every buyer that I have wants more of what I'm growing. I think if we can show that by implementing some practices that help build soil health, you can actually be more efficient in retaining winter precipitation and using very costly irrigation water, I think we can build up a rational to reach a large number of growers. It is important to use water more and more efficiently here. And I think we're starting to realize that we need to manage water um, uh, more carefully. And that soil has a role to play in it. 